Andrew Wolford. I'm a professor of sociology at the University of Manitoba. I work with the Survivor Governing Council. I got some funding to do research on Assiniboia and I wanted it to be a community-based research project. So I formed a council of survivors to govern the project and I asked them what they would like me to do and they suggested a reunion. William Kennedy and I was here at the residential school in Assiniboia. I was 19 when I left. I was planning to come here today because I wanted to see the school that I went to and I wanted to see more of my classmates. I was about 15 years old when I was in Assiniboia school. I spent two years there. And I went to school at Assiniboia High here. I had friends here, I had a lot of friends here. We learn how to dance back there. The dancing. Yeah. We, still, we still can. Well, we started off with the, the tours of the former classroom um, where probably a couple hundred to three hundred people uh, walked through, had tours. For most tours, there were survivors on each tour providing some of their information, as well as some information about what the building is currently used for. I was here last year, and then just coming in made me feel awful, but now it's, I'm getting used to it. Yeah, yeah. My name is Pugajis. I left uh, my trap on Kalkahole when I was seven years old. Then uh, six, six, I got transferred here to Assiniboia. I stayed here for two years. I lost my language. I lost my culture. I didn't even know my father. That's the experience I had. I mean, I learned contemporary education. But uh, as far as my culture, my language is concerned, it was shot. Uh, I don't know, this is just a powerful event, like hearing the stories of uh, survivors and uh, just crazy what they've been through and now they're still here and they're still joking around, like laughing and stuff and it's great that uh, everyone comes together and yeah, it's good to see, so. For this, I had a dream of um, some of the things that have been really powerful here have been hearing directly from the survivors. <laughs> there have been some very powerful stories that were shared inside of the different uh, spaces that have been set up here and I think it's really important for these survivors to have an opportunity to share um, the positive things that came out of this experience for them, uh, often how strong they are, um, but also to hear from them about how much hope they have for the young people. Let's give it up for Jonathan, everyone. Woo! My name, my relatives. So I just came off stage, told my story a little, and it made me feel happy that I got to get out what I was feeling on the inside, like, you know, how I felt about the residential schools and all the intergenerational effects it had. I wish I would have been able to be capable or had the, 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 uh, the opportunity, the guts to do what you're doing. Uh, we never had a chance, we never had a chance to do these sort of stuff. So I, I feel very honored to meet you. And it felt good to talk to, like, to speak to some elders and they were really feeling what I was saying, like, when I was talking. So they understand what I'm saying. It's like, it felt good to know that I was being understood about where I was coming from. Miigwech. Uh, tonight is mostly about the survivors getting together and uh, catching up and having that time to you know have their have a social moment but there'll be music dance I mean the community here has really provided a, an excellent dinner and uh, so much um, so much thought has gone into it by on their part. This is one chance for them to see their classmates again, 
they speak of uh, their fellow classmates as family, as you know, when taken from their families at a young age, many of them, they bonded with their fellow students as families. So it's an important almost as a family reunion, but also as an opening up to the community. They've been really vocal about wanting the River Heights community to be informed to learn about that school because so many people pass by, they don't know it was a school, they don't know what happened there. It um, is a history that hasn't been told much in Winnipeg yet. It's important uh, for a youth to hear this message because they need to know that we are resilient people and in order for us to keep going, we need to have more uh, ceremonies like this. I think reunions like this are important, especially for our Indian residential school survivors because it provides an opportunity for those classmates to connect with one another. I was happy to see them. I was glad I came. Very emotional. I feel like crying right now. I, I appreciate meeting everybody and hearing their stories. Uh, it just gives me a good uh, sense of identity to see that my people are still you know, strong and they're trying to teach our youth to keep moving forward in that direction.